Hello future doctors welcome to the painism i am dr dipen shah and today from the master of biology you are going to study about the master endocrine gland yes that is the pituitary gland so let us discuss about the master endocrine gland now pituitary gland when we observe the size the size is of the size of a pea so it's a pea sized gland weighing just 0.5 to 0.6 grams but size matter nahi karta what matters is the role that it performs and it is considered as the master gland because all our body structures and all other endocrine glands are actually being controlled by the pituitary gland in fact master ka bhi aur ek master hai and the master of master is considered as the hypothalamus yes hypothalamic neurons basically send signals to the pituitary gland and that is how the pituitary gland is regulating the endocrine orchestra and hence the master of master is the hypothalamus now let us discuss the location of the pituitary gland pituitary gland is mainly present on the ventral side of the brain below the hypothalamus and it is being protected by a bone of the skull that is known as the sphenoid bone in the sphenoid bone there is presence of a depression and that depression is known as cella turcica so in the cella turcica depression of the sphenoid bone pituitary gland is located now in your entrance you will be asked about the origin of the pituitary gland then remember that this endocrine gland originates from the ectoderm that is the outermost germ layer because the other endocrine glands most of them they are arising from the endodermal origin whereas the pituitary gland is ectodermal in origin now let us discuss in detail about the structure of the pituitary gland so when you observe the structure of the pituitary gland its anterior part is known as the adenohypophysis and its posterior part is known as the neurohypophysis now in both the parts the common suffix is hypophysis the reason for that is the alternative name of pituitary gland is hypophysis the adeno word comes from the adenoid structures which means glandular so in true sense it is the anterior pituitary or adenohypophysis which is glandular that is secreting hormones whereas the posterior pituitary which is known as neurohypophysis basically it receives certain neurons from the hypothalamus now when we observe the structure we observe that the anterior pituitary contributes almost 75% whereas the posterior pituitary is only constituting 25% now let us discuss about the anterior pituitary the anterior pituitary or adenohypophysis is produced from a pouch and that pouch is known as a ratkes pouch so remember this term ratkes pouch which is actually present during the embryonic stages so during the embryonic stages from the buccal cavity's roof there is a projection which is produced and that projection is ratkes pouch named after the scientist who discovered it and this pouch then separates out from the buccal cavity and it develops into the anterior pituitary a very interesting point to be noted there are three major parts of the anterior pituitary the first part is known as the pars tuberalis the pars tuberalis is basically a tubular region it is a collar like extension near the infundibulum the other part of anterior pituitary is known as pars intermedia also known as the intermediate lobe this pars intermedia is like a cleft between the pars distalis and pars nervosa this pars intermedia is considered to be non functional in humans but in other vertebrates that is in lower vertebrates it is considered to having a particular role of secretion of hormones and the lower most part of the anterior pituitary which is the most important and vital part that is known as the pars distalis and this is the part which is going to secrete six major hormones so this pars distalis which is the lower most major portion is composed of the epithelioid secretory cells and these secretory cells are going to synthesize and secrete the pituitary hormones 
apart from this this distalis part consists of reticular connective tissue which are surrounded by blood filled sinusoids and also there is entry of a particular artery onto the anterior pituitary that is known as the hypophyseal artery that forms the capillary network and that capillary network forms a vein but this vein enters into the pars distalis part and hence it is known as the hypophyseal portal vein we have discussed about portal circulation in one of my videos so go through that to understand the portal circulation so here there is the hypophyseal portal vein which opens up into the pars distalis and in this portal circulation the hypothalamic releasing factors and inhibiting factors are secreted so this we have discussed about the anterior pituitary or adenohypophysis coming to the posterior pituitary or the neurohypophysis just like anterior pituitary even posterior is composed of three major components in that the first component is called as the median eminence that is the swollen part and this part is actually of the hypothalamus which is being connected to the pituitary the other part is known as the infundibulum also known as the hypophyseal stalk so this is a stalk like structure which is connecting the pituitary gland to the hypothalamus and as you can observe it mainly consists of certain exon fibers so neurons which are present in the hypothalamus their exons run down through this infundibulum and the lower most part is known as the pars nervosa this pars nervosa contains the exon endings which are having a swollen bulb like structure and inside them there are certain vesicles which are present which are known as herring's bodies these herring's bodies are going to contain the neurohormones secreted by the hypothalamus and this exon endings are surrounded by certain cells which are known as the pituitaries in fact the pituitaries are nothing but the neuroglial cells which are present around this exon endings so this in detail we have discussed about the structure and location of the master endocrine gland from the master of biology stay tuned for my next video where we are going to discuss about the functions and hormones of the pituitary gland that's all from the painism